I don't know if you know this, but I taught in Japan for about five years. And if there's one thing that I loved, it was teaching. If there's one thing I hated, it was flyering. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do is show you how you can either get rid of doing flyering altogether for three to four dollars a day or to take your flyering and supercharge it uh, by using some YouTube awareness ad. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just getting to our desktop here. Uh, I'm just going to assume that if you are an Akaiwa owner, you probably don't have a YouTube channel. If you do, it doesn't matter. Easy enough. So anyways, you go to Google, you just type in Google Ads. We're going to click on here. Once again, this is just like if you have a brand new business. So I'm going to... Just click get started. Uh, I'm going to create a new Google Ads account. And because it's a new account, one thing you got to keep in mind is even though we're only going to set up a campaign that's going to run for three to 400 yen a day, uh, when you set up a brand new account, Google will usually charge your card. Uh, I believe it's a $50 fee one time to just basically see if you're set up. Uh, now, anyways, we're going to start here. This is what gets everybody that's new. Uh, instead of new campaign where we're hitting these things, I'm going to get you to go down here and click switch to expert mode. And then we are right into this campaign. Now, the reason this campaign is good is we can be ultra specific targeting only people that are, you know, exactly right where you are. Uh, and then on top of that, we can get them based on their intent, what they're going to do, as opposed to who they are. We can find people so we can, you know, be pretty sure we're targeting just say the, the mothers with children in your neighborhood or the fathers with children. So we're going to get started by picking no campaign goal. We're doing this because we don't have any website data to start with. So picking conversions or traffic, it's just not a good start. Next, they're going to ask you to choose a campaign type. We're going to choose video because we're using a YouTube campaign. Uh, we're going to keep going on through here, uh, down, 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 and we are going to click continue. Now, right off the top, what they're going to ask us to do is name our campaign. Uh, what I always do is name it according to what we're using. So we're setting up a maximum cost per view campaign. Uh, this way you're just getting charged for people who actually watch your ads. Uh, then we're also going to say, um, we'll call this YouTube awareness campaign, campaign. Okay. And now what we're getting into here, are bidding strategy, strategy, maximum cost per view. We're not going to spend the maximum. It's just going to say, what are we prepared to spend? Now with our budget and dates, instead of running a campaign total, I like switching it here to our daily total. Um, mine is setting Canadian money. If you're in Japan, this is going to be yen, but you know, 400 yen and you are good to go. Now networks, where do they want to see our videos? So what we're going to switch it to is only YouTube videos. We don't want to show up in the sidebar uh, or on display sites because basically we just want to make sure that impression is there. Uh, and now we're going to pick our location. Uh, now in Japan, we got to pick something, you know, really, really precise. So I'm going to just find a random address here. Uh, Tokyo. Disney address. Target. So anyways, we have our location in, we're going to target them. Uh, and now the languages we're searching for here is basically Japanese. No reason to waste bids or money on 
English people that happen to be in your area. Now inventory type, we're going to leave it as standard inventory. Uh, exclude media types. So basically we don't want to show it on embedded videos. That means if somebody's on a website looking, you know, basically they're not going to click through if they, they're on a blog or something. Uh, also, we're going to take out live streaming videos. That's, you know, people doing games and stuff. Generally, people are interested in that or sporting events or whatever they don't want to leave. I'm going to also deselect mature audiences. If you're running ads for a children's school, you know, you probably don't want to do it on like horror movies or whatever. Uh, and now I'm going to go through here. Conversions. Uh, that doesn't matter. Devices. I'm going to go in here and basically I think actually we're going to leave, we're going to take off TV screens. We're going to take off computers and we're going to only target mobile phones and tablets. The reason there moms are on their phones a lot and they often let their kids see it. Uh, this just gives us the highest chance of converting here. Uh, frequency capping. This is the most important part you're going to get out of this tutorial. What we want to do is cap our impression frequency. So this means we get 20 impressions per week. So the important thing is you don't get charged per impression on YouTube. So that means that five seconds ahead of time or even uh, upwards of 15 seconds. YouTube is only counting it as a view once you pass the 30 second mark if you have a long form video. Uh, so by doing this, what we're doing is we're really getting that, like the flyering effect where people will just see the name of your Akaiwa, see the name of your school up to 20 times per week without taking action. And it just slowly lets them know you're there. Uh, and then also we're going to cap the time, the amount of time somebody can actually view your ad and not interact with it. You know, that's for, you know, possibly, uh, people that fall asleep with YouTube on or you know maybe if kids are having it they let the the ads play because they don't know how to get through it so basically if we are doing this we're taking advantage of like the maximum amount of free views and free times you can get your logo and your company in front of the parents in your neighborhood uh, for ad schedule we can do all all times one more time here for our ad group name. We're just going to call it cost per view moms near Tokyo Disney. I definitely suggest you use a different area. It's probably the worst one in the whole country to use. <laughs> okay. So now what we're doing here is we're checking our demographics. So we're going to unclick, not a parent. Uh, we're also going to unclick, I don't know, unclick 18 to 24, although there's definitely some parents that are younger than 24, the majority of them aren't. The same thing, because we only want to pay for the right clicks, we're going to get rid of all these other people. So basically we're trying to charge, we're trying to target, oh, let me get over here too. We're basically looking for female parents between the ages of 25 and 45. Um, for audiences here, we're not going to use anything. We're just going to go right past that. Oh, I lost that here. And now keywords. Now it comes down to how do we know that we're searching parents who like English? Uh, so here, what we're using is just ABC. ABC song, you know, I would also throw in possibly like uh, super simple songs, you know, here it's just kind of big things. If you have a big competitor in your neighborhood and you want to make sure you're always there, throw in the competitor's name. But, you know, this is just how to get the most relevant thing. So if you have basically what I'm trying to build here is the avatar of a mother of a young child who's looking for ABC related songs for many a Kiwas, they start looking for children at the around the age of two to six. These are the things that they're looking for on their mom's phone. That way their mom will be served 
these commercials later on. Um, and now we're getting down to our maximum cost per, vid, per view. So it's not going to charge us this every time, but this is just what we're saying. Like if we need it, this is how much we're, we're prepared to spend. You know, here I'm trying to show YouTube that we're being serious about getting some impressions for your school. Uh, so what I would do here is I would set it up at 60, no, not $16 per view, 16 cents. Give me a second here, 0.16. You know, obviously you're gonna be doing yen. Uh, now here, top content bid adjustment. So this is how much extra would you be willing to spend to have your video on, to have your commercial on a really, really hot video essentially. So if you want your commercial to show up when mothers of children in your neighborhood are searching for baby shark because you feel like that's probably the target audience for you, then we're just gonna throw in that 25 cent adjustment. Uh, really trying to get the right people to watch your video. Uh, now here you need, this is where you upload your video. Your video would be uploaded to your YouTube channel. If you have any questions about it, just shoot me a question in the comment box. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna upload one of the commercials that I'm running. Uh, I have that loaded up and then I'm just gonna click skippable in-stream ad. Then you're gonna type in your you know, website address. Uh, for me, it's I might as well just do mine now that I'm typing or add ronin.com where we make videos. Uh oh, do, do, do. Yeah, add ronin.com. We make ad copy that converts. We do copy for videos as well as make this style of video for amazing prices. Uh, starts at $49.99 and they work. We've generated $20 million worth of revenue this year for our clients with these basic videos. So for our call to action here, this is gonna be the button that shows up in your ad. If you want, you can do a learn more to send them to your site. Uh, at the same time, you don't really need to throw in learn more. You know, maybe uh, you could throw in something like, um, because it's a kid's school, you know, you can throw in something like have fun, real basic English that somebody's gonna get no matter what. Uh, and then your headline, which is gonna show up right here where it says Samurai 9 Design. And we're gonna throw in uh, just something like, um, yeah, have fun with ABCs. Or, no, um, make learning fun. Maybe that's okay. Uh, let's have fun. There we go. Something like that. So here you're kind of limited by the amount of content or sorry, the amount of space, but we got 15 for 15. Uh, and then basically we're just going to want to call this uh, awareness ad. So just when you see right here, the stuff I have on this side of the screen is based on the target of, or sorry, based on $4 worth of spending every day or 400 yen spending, what we're looking at is a maximum, you know, about 600 to 1,000.3, uh, 1,300 views per week. But we're also looking at about 3,000 impressions per week. So if you think about it in your actual target area, there's probably only 1,000 to 2,000 people that it applies to. Uh, so you're gonna be hitting them kind of consistently for a couple weeks for, you know, in the course of a month, if you spend, you know, Niman N or something like that, everybody there is going to know what it is. This way you're not gonna have to spend hours outside flyering, or if you wanna do that too, you know, you're obviously more than welcome to, but like as I like I mentioned before, I hated flyering. This is the way that you don't have to do it. Uh, the last step, you're just clicking create campaign. Uh, like I said, 
what we do is we create ad copy that gets clicked and we create uh, just high popping videos that are meant to basically stand out and disrupt. So if you're looking for that kind of content, please visit adronin.com. And if you're just looking to get out of flyering, rewind this tutorial, watch it as many times as you can. I'm telling you the system works. Uh, if you found me through an ad, you found me through this setup. All right. Thanks a lot. Have fun. And if you have any questions, just hit it in the comment section below. I will get back to you and I will help you through this process. It's not that hard. All right. Take care.